IMSA 2024 season is very close to begin. At the end of January, we're going to have the Rolex 24 at Daytona, which will be the first round. But I know that some of you guys don't understand very well what's the difference between the classes. So in this video, I will explain everything about the differences between GTP, LMP2, GTD Pro, and GTD classes. But before that, please subscribe to the channel to not lose any more videos about IMSA and WEC. So let's go now to the video. Number 1. GTP Class GTP is the top class in the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship. Introduced in 2023 to replace the former DPI class, GTP class can compete with the LMDH and LMH cars due to convergence rules between IMSA and ACO. And there we have factory operations and also customer teams competing. However, not all manufacturers can race in GTP class. That's because to be eligible to compete, the brand must produce 2,500 cars per year around the world. But for a while, we will only have LMDH cars competing in the 2024 season with Acura, BMW, Cadillac, Porsche, and Lamborghini. Acura, BMW, Cadillac, and Porsche will be competing in the full season while Lamborghini only for Michelin Endurance Cup rounds, except Rolex 24. So here comes the driver combination rule for the GTP class in IMSA. For the 24 hours races, a minimum of three drivers is required and a maximum of four is permitted. But from 2025 season, for drivers lineup will be mandatory in GTP class for the 24 hours race. For the 10 or 12 hours race, three drivers are required for all the teams in the GTP class. For the six hours races, a minimum of two drivers is required and a maximum of three is permitted. But from 2025 season, three drivers lineup will be mandatory in GTP class for the six hours race. And for the races less than six hours format, two drivers are required for all the teams in the GTP class. And in all of the four cases, there is no restriction about driver choice. So how can I identify the GTP cars on the track? The only thing that you must look at is the black number plate background, which means that this is a GTP car. Number 2, LMP2 class. Now the LMP2. This is a secondary prototype class in the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship. This class is designated to the independent teams and is cheaper than the GTP class with the homologated price of $506,000. There are four approved constructors for the LMP2 cars, which are Eureka, Multimatic, Ligier, and Delara. But in the IMSA 2024 season, we will only have Eureka and Ligier chassis. The LMP2 cars today in IMSA are a little bit slower than GTP cars. However, the current LMDH cars are based on what will be the next generation of LMP2 cars. Unlike GTP, LMP2 is a pro AM class and there are some restrictions about driver lineup choice. So let's understand it better. For the 24 hours races, four drivers are required for all the teams in the LMP2 class, but with some conditions. A minimum of one bronze rated driver is mandatory and a maximum of one platinum rated plus one gold rated driver or maximum two gold rated drivers are allowed. For the six, 10 or 12 hours race, three drivers are required for all the teams in the LMP2 class, but with some conditions. A minimum of one bronze rated driver is mandatory and a maximum of one platinum rated or one gold rated driver is permitted. And for the sprint rounds, two drivers are required for all the teams in the LMP2 class, but one of them must be a bronze driver rated and a maximum of a single platinum or gold rated driver is permitted. So how can I identify the LMP2 cars on the track? If you see the number plate background, the mirror and rear wing in blue color, it's a LMP2 car. Number 3, GTD Pro Class. Now let's talk about the GTD Pro Class. This is the top GT class in IMSA and uses GT3 car specs according to the FIA regulations. Like the name says, it's destined for professional drivers and for the factory operations. But customer teams can also compete there. For the 2024 season, we're gonna have Aston Martin, BMW, Chevrolet, Ferrari, Ford, Lamborghini, Lexus, McLaren, Mercedes, and Porsche as the manufacturer's competitors. And about the driver's combination, the rule is the same from the GTP class. 
For the 24 hours races, a minimum of three drivers is required and a maximum of four is permitted. But from 2025 season, four drivers lineup will be mandatory in GTD Pro Class for the 24 hours race. For the 10 or 12 hours race, three drivers are required for all the teams in the GTD Pro Class. For the 6 hours races, a minimum of 2 drivers is required and a maximum of 3 is permitted. But from 2025 season, 3 drivers lineup will be mandatory in GTD Pro Class for the 6 hours race. And for the races less than 6 hours format, 2 drivers are required for all the teams in the GTD Pro Class. Like GTP, there is no restriction about driver choice in GTD Pro Class. So how can I identify the GTD Pro cars on the track? Like LMP2 cars, there are also three details that you must look at. The number plate background, mirror and rear wing end plate are red in GTD Pro Class. Number four, GTD Class. Now finally, let's talk about the GTD Class. Technically speaking, it's basically the same thing from the GTD Pro Class because GTD also uses GT3 car spec and virtually there is no different technical rule compared to the GTD Pro Class. The only difference is about the driver's lineup rules. The GTD is considered as a Pro AM class because there are some restrictions about choosing platinum or gold rated drivers. Let's understand it better. For the 24 hours races, four drivers are required for all the teams in the GTD class, but with a condition. A maximum of one platinum rated plus one gold rated driver or maximum two gold rated drivers are allowed. For the six, 10 or 12 hours race, three drivers are required for all the teams in the GTD class, but with a condition. A maximum of one platinum rated or one gold rated driver is permitted. And for the sprint rounds, two drivers are required for all the teams in the GTD class, but a maximum of a single platinum or gold rated driver is permitted. So how can I identify the GTD cars on the track? Like LMP2 and GTD Pro cars, there are also three details that you must look at. The only difference is that the number plate background, mirror and rear wing end plate are green in GTD class. So these are the differences between the four classes which will compete this year in the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship. If you'd like to watch more content about IMSA, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to not lose more videos. This month we're going to have a lot of videos about IMSA due to the Rolex 24 at Daytona. See you in the next videos.